Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're going to talk about Chandler Halderson. Now, look, so I'm a little bit behind, but so far, I'm up to day three, about halfway through. So, I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video uh, just to let y'all know what I think so far. And I think he is in a lot of trouble. Now, I don't remember exactly. I think this was the parents of his girlfriend or, or was something to that effect, right? Uh, the mom of the girlfriend or something. So he goes out there to use their pool or something, right? Uh, come to find out, he went out there and put some evidence in their in their woods, right? Because you can see there's quite a bit of woods and stuff in this area right here. Yeah, so he goes out there and he's apparently left a rifle in their shed and left uh, human remains, y'all, in these people's woods. Now, when I first heard that, I thought, well, why in the world would he do that? You know, usually you would want to put evidence somewhere so that no one would ever find it. That's obviously not the plan here because you put it on somebody's property, right? Uh, where you would know that they would end up finding it. You know, you were out there being suspicious. They thought something was up. And then they ended up finding a rifle in their shed. Why? Why would he do that? The only thing that would make sense, okay, is if he planned on uh, framing them, you know, for the crime. But that also doesn't fit either. Because... He had apparently had never said anything about, oh, I think they were uh, up to no good because they were acting suspicious when I came out there. Unless I haven't heard that part yet. All right. That could still be coming. But I don't think so. I think. Uh, I think he's just really bad. At trying to cover up a crime like this. You know. I don't think this was planned out whatsoever. I think. Uh, you know. When this all went down. I think he just pretty much panicked. And. Didn't really know what to do. Right. And. I have no idea. You know, why he would take such a risk uh, disposing of evidence in this way, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense, y'all. But we pretty much know he's the guy. I mean, we know he's been caught in way too many lies, you know, the idea that 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 the, anybody else would have done it is just absurd to me. I can't imagine, you know, anybody else uh, having anything to do with this. So, yeah, so I just wanted to show y'all real quick, you know, the uh, the property here. Now, of course, this was day three, and I know we're up to day four. So, but I know this weekend, there's not going to be any more trials. So, that's when I'm going to get caught up. You know, and then uh, I may end up, you know, doing some more videos on this, depending on, you know, if there's any more substantial information that comes out. Now, I do know a little bit more about this case, right? So, 
I'm going to leave that to myself for now. The other things that I know about it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So far, y'all, this is just a such a bizarre story. You know, it's really crazy. I just, I don't know, y'all. This is, this is something else. Uh, I just feel bad for him, y'all. You know. All right. I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, I'm out.